everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Renee Lewis and I like to come on here often to be able to share with you the postcards that I receive from postcrossing.com this week I have six official postcards a whole bunch of round robin cards and I also have several direct swaps so let's get started the first card that I received comes from Austria and this comes from Herbert and this is the town in which he lives. Um, Valdevertel. Valdevertel. So that's probably not pronounced correctly. <laughs> but I love it when we get cards that are from hometowns. The second card comes from Brazil. And this is a famous dam in Brazil. This is um, um, an aerial view, the biggest hydroelectric plants of the world. So yeah, very cool. Thank you. The next card comes from China. This comes from Leighton in China. The machine ate it up. It's a wonderful beach, but here's what's really interesting about this card. It was traveling for 113 days before it arrived here at my house yesterday. So yeah, from Leighton in China. And let's see if I can block all this out. Look at those amazing stamps. So thank you, Leighton. I appreciate that. And um, I'm so glad we were able to register it, that it made it here. The next card comes from uh, the Czech Republic, and this is a famous statue, um, an equestrian statue of Margrave Jobst of Moravia. And I just think that would be so cool to see in person. It's huge. So thank you. The next card comes from Germany, and this is from Norbert, and he sends this um, beautiful flower heart um, for my uh, heart theme for the month of February. Perfect card for that. And then the last official postcard comes from Great Britain, and this is, of course, Buckingham Palace. This comes from Kirsten. And she tells me that we can tell that the queen is not in because the flag is not flying. And I have been outside of Buckingham Palace a couple of times, but boy, would I like to go inside. So those are the official postcards. Now let me share with you the round robins. So the first card that I received comes from Tara. And this is, of course, for St. Patrick's Day. And I just think... It is absolutely hilarious. When do the shenanigans begin? <laughs> that is so cute. Thank you so much, Tara. The next card comes from James, and I love cards from different universities, and this is um, University of Connecticut, and it is in Stores, Connecticut. I lived in Willimantic, which is the town next door, for a year, and so I actually know this campus, which is pretty awesome. So thank you so much, James. The next card comes from Lawrence, and this is a school of fish in the Galapagos Islands, and I have been to the Galapagos Islands. And let me show you the really cool stamps back here on this. I just thought they were beautiful. So thank you, Lawrence. The next card comes from a Hoot Noodle, and this is an Ernst Henkel, Heckel um, card of sea squirts. Very, very cool. Thank you. The next card comes from Karen, and it is another university card. This is Duke University in North Carolina. And she says on the back, doesn't it just look dull? Yes, it does. Um, but I'm sure that is just because it is a vintage card. <laughs> the next card comes from Susan, and this is an Irish mailbox, but what she made note is that look at the initials, VR. So this mailbox is from the Victorian age, uh, when Queen Victoria was on the throne. So very cool. The other thing I liked about the back of this card 
is that it was green. <laughs> so thank you so much, Susan. The next postcard comes from Hooked on Postcards, and this is from the from Daring Dames, a Tyler um, Kyler Mars postcard set. And this is just so interesting. So we've got her up on this biplane, right? But notice that the biplane is an orca, and then the um, bottom part where you would land that is actually salmon down there. Such a cool and interesting. Card. Thank you so much. The other thing that I really like, and I'm going to get that. Well, I actually ordered it. So you can see that it says, thank you, mail carrier, that stamp. I actually ordered it this morning. Spent a little money. It was worth it. <laughs> uh, the next card comes from Scouting Bear. And my theme for March was green. And so she sent me a green Pantone card and she said I hope this is a good color green for you and I like all greens except maybe baby poop green <laughs> so thank you so much for that card Mary Ellen sends the next card and she is celebrating women's month and so she sends me a card of Rosalind Carter um, the Carters still do so much for the community even though they are quite elderly Jimmy and Rosalind Carter um, so I have a lot of respect for them, a lot of respect. Thank you for that card, Mary Ellen. The next card comes from Jennifer, and this is from my green theme. And this is Middleton Place, and it is located in Charleston, South Carolina. It is gorgeous. I would love to go there. <laughs> the next card comes from Greg. Craig and Craig is also celebrating Women's History Month and he sends me an R is for Rachel. This is of course Rachel Carson who is absolutely one of my heroines in the science world. I teach um, an entire class based on um, Rachel Carson, all of her work, how she was vilified um, you know for her work in uh, getting DDT banned and um, yeah so absolutely fascinating figure. Um, old white men did not like her. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, so thank you so much for this, Craig. This is a really special card. Um, I absolutely love it. Not that they're not all special, but I'm just saying, um, just it sense it's something that I'm, I very much study. The next card comes from um, Mary. And what we see here is this is a uh, castle in Germany. And one of my favorite castles is Bodium Castle in uh, England. And I've been there, I think it's four times now. But that castle is a ruined castle that is surrounded by a note. And it's got these round turrets on the ends. And so she said that this reminded her of Bodium Castle and thought that it would remind me of Bodium Castle as well. Um, they were both built in the 14th century. However, Bodium Castle is in ruins, whereas this castle is not. And it is used, she says, for um, cultural events now. So thank you so much for that card. And then the card I received today comes from Brenda. And it's, of course, again, for my green theme. And this is a waterfall in Jamaica. And this makes me want to go to Jamaica right now. And the other thing as well is that she really decorated the back of the card. So cute. So cute for uh, St. Patrick's Day. So that is all of the round robins. And I do have a couple of swaps. So let me share with you the swaps that I've received. So the first swap that I received was from Blue. And look at this. It's for um, Palindrome Day 22222. And um, so it is a really neat card. Blue is always involved in these um, different events. And I'm, I, I never know how she catches them all, but it is just fascinating. And the other thing is that Blue really, really decorates the back of cards beautifully. So thank you so much, Blue. She sent me another card. And this one is for a virtual meeting on the 27th of February. Look at all of those amazing um, animals. And I'll show you the back of this one. I don't think her address is there. 
and all of these people went to this event. So very cool. Thank you, Blue. The next card comes from somebody that you may know. It comes from That Dad Guy. And he sent me this wonderful card to just keep smiling to Bottlenose Dolphin. So it is very exciting. I'm hoping that um, I get to see a couple Bottlenose Dolphin when I head back to the Bahamas here very soon. So thank you, That Dad Guy. I love it. And then the last card was a new swap for me. This came from Linda, and Linda watches my channel, and she um, made this card for me based upon something that I had said. So look at this beautiful card that she made for me. So all of these different views of Princess Diana. Isn't that, number one, gorgeous? But number two, isn't that thoughtful? To put all of that work into a card knowing that it was something that I absolutely loved. So I save all of my postcards, but the ones that are Princess Diana, I have a clear mat on my desk. And I put them underneath there because I, uh, I just really liked her. And I want to be as kind as, kind as her. I want to remind myself to be kind. And so uh, I love looking at postcards like this. So this one is going under the clear mat on my desk. Thank you, Linda. It means a lot to me. So those are all of the postcards that I received this past week. That was quite a few postcards. Um, I have all of my postcards sending right now. I can send um, up to 18 cards. And this morning I wrote six cards and got them in the mail. And as I was writing the sixth one, a seventh one was registered. So I wrote that one too. So all 18 of mine are traveling now. And so let's hope that they find their destination soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I want to remind you to please stay safe, please stay healthy. And if you have not been vaccinated, please get vaccinated so that we can make our way out of this pandemic and return to our normal lives. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.